This week's word of the week is going to be a welding symbol. A welding symbol is something that goes on in prints that basically tells you where to put welds, the size of welds, uh, some contours that your face can have, things like that. Basically it gives you all the information that you need in order to know what weld to put down. Now the important thing here, uh, a lot of welders have trouble reading prints, especially 2D prints. I mean, a lot of them are going 3D now, but uh, 2D prints are hard to read. If you have trouble with print reading, the one thing if you're in the welding world that you need to know is how to read a welding symbol. This is the most important thing if you're going to be a welder. You do not want to go out in the field and have a welding symbol like this one right here and not be able to read it. I mean, this is about as basic as it gets. So what we're going to do is uh, do a quick little intro on what welding symbols are. Then we're going to go uh, and I'll put up on our screen uh, two guides. One that gives you everything that can possibly go on this welding symbol. And then the other guide will be, it tells you uh, what these little designations are here in the middle. Like this is a fill well right here, so that's saying. But there's a ton of them. You can do uh, all the groove uh, faces that you're going to put on there, like uh, single bevel, uh, double bevel, single J, single V, all those. Those are all in that uh, other designation guide. So we're going to go over those two guides. Then we're going to come back in here, and I'm going to put a bunch of symbols up here, and we'll just describe what each symbol is telling you. So let's get start, started with the intro here. Every welding symbol has a reference line and an arrow. Those two things are on every single welding symbol. So these are the, this is about as basic as it gets. Now, what, they're, um, what this reference line means is if it's on the bottom of the reference line, it means it's on the arrow side. If it's on the top of the reference line, it means it's on the other side. What does that mean? Arrow side, which is where this one is pointing, means you put the quarter inch fillet weld on the arrow side of the joint. So this little T joint right here, arrow side, the arrow's pointing here, so that means this is the arrow side. So this would go right here. Hopefully quarter inch leg size. Now, if we were to erase this and do the exact opposite, come up here, go a quarter of an inch here, let's erase this too. That's the other side, it means Put it on the other side from where the arrow is pointing. So now it goes over here. Very basic, right? So basically, a lot of welding symbols have this on the back. This is for general notes. Um, like if you were going to say uh, you wanted this TIG welding, for instance, you would write G T A W in here. Or um, maybe it had a material, A36. You can put just about anything in this tail. The tail doesn't have to be on there, but a lot of welding symbols have a tail on them. Uh, the main thing to remember is it has to have a reference line and it has to have an, an arrow. So what we'll do is we'll go over there and we'll look at the first uh, kind of reference guide that pretty much everybody that's in education uses when they're teaching uh, welding symbols, which shows everything that can go on this welding symbol. So we'll go pull that up on the, uh, on the board and then we'll look at that. This first little reference chart we got here, we're going to start right up at the top and go right around this thing, describing all the stuff that can be on a welding symbol. Uh, it's commonly used by educators to show what can be uh, you know, on a welding symbol. So we're going to start with the F, finish symbol. What, that's, what that means is uh, if you have to grind it, they're going to put a G in there. If you have to machine it, it's going to be an M. Just tell them what the finish has to be. Uh, contour symbol, that means uh, the one that's up there right now means it's going to be a flush face. If it was uh, convex, that would mean convex face. If it was concave, it would mean concave face. A, this is your uh, groove angle, so the angle of the groove. Now let's go over here, length and, length and pitch. L, P, length and pitch. That means if you're doing a staggered weld, so it's not going all the way across, let's say a, a T joint, um, you're going to do the length of the weld, so let's say it's two, if it was a two, it would be two inches length, and the pitch would be, uh, let's say two again, and it's measured from center to center. The reason they don't go from start to fit, uh, yeah, start to finish is because uh, nobody's going to put a perfect two inch weld down if a human's doing it, so they go center to center. Uh, and there's a little bit of, uh, we'll go over that, the first thing we'll go over when we go into the other room again is um, the length and pitch, because there's some uh, additional information that's, that's useful for that. Uh, the little flag there, right here, that's a field weld symbol, which means it's done in the field. Arrow, this is what we already talked about, that's just your arrow. Uh, this circle right here, kind of over by the field weld, 
that means you're going to weld all the way around. It's a weld all the way around symbol. So if that's on there, you got to go all the way around. This is just pointing to this line right here. That's your reference line. We kind of already went over that. Uh, and number of spotted projection welds, so some resistance welding there. So if there's a 20 there, you're going to do 20 spot welds. Um, where are we at here? Over here, basic weld symbol. So they're pointing into here. What we had in the other room there was a, a fillet weld. And the next reference chart we go to is going to show you all the difference, all the differences in what um, the weld symbols can have in here as far as groove, edge preparations, things like that. Now that'll be our next uh, reference chart here. Uh, tail, kind of said something about that when we were in the other room. Uh, it's basically, you put it in there and you can put just about anything in there, specification of process or other reference. It's basically a thing for notes, and, uh, something that Walter needs to know that could be special, I don't know, anything. Just about anything going there. S, depth or preparation size or strength for certain welds. So if you're gonna put a fillet weld side, size down, like we did over there, quarter of an inch, that's where it's gonna go. Effective groove weld size. So that's gonna be how big your groove weld is. Did we go to, well R, we're on R, right? Yep. So R is just a root opening, so if you're doing uh, uh, groove joint and you want to, I don't know, eighth of an inch root opening for whatever reason, they're going to put that there. This is every single thing that can possibly go into a weld symbol. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our next reference chart and it's going to come to this right here. Uh, the welding symbols that can go in the middle of the reference line to tell you what weld you're doing. So we'll pull that chart up and we'll go over that. This is the other reference chart I was talking about. Uh, it's also commonly used for, by educators when you're going over welding symbols. And this is showing all the stuff that can go in the middle of the reference line that tells you exactly what you know, weld you're doing. So like we're looking right here, I forgot to say that there's also both sides. So uh, like we went over arrow side and other side in the other room, if it's on each side of the reference line, that means both sides. Some of them can't do that. So like you, know, you can't do a spot or projection weld on both sides, so it's not used, so you can see on the chart there. Uh, but all these symbols, you need to know what they are. Otherwise, if you're, you get a print and you can't read it, it's going to make you look foolish. So um, I'm not going to go over everything on this chart. But you can find it, just Google it, and type in welding symbol, and these will, these will pop right up. But uh, you can see down here, it's got all those edge preparations that you probably have heard about. So you got your square butt joint. you got your V. This is V on arrow side, V on other side, both sides. Uh, bevel, U joint, J, flare V, flare bevel, and then over here we got some uh, uh, scarf joints that are basically used in brazing and soldering. So um, this is everything that can go in the middle of those welding symbols. So what we'll do now is we'll go over there to the other room, uh, pull up some length and pitch info, and then we'll uh, actually get some welding symbols. I'll draw them and we'll describe what you're doing in each welding symbol. What we're going to go over here real quick is length and pitch and some different situations that you can have occur with uh, length and pitch. First, this is a side view of a T-joint. Uh, these little swirly lines in purple are uh, the actual welds that's, that's representing. Uh, over here, this is the um, welding symbol. You can see fill weld symbol, both sides, two inch length, two inch pitch. Two inch length means two inches of the length of the weld, and two inch pitch is the spacing in between the welds uh, measured center to center. This is a very common thing that happens in industry. They don't want you to put more weld metal down than you have to because you're wasting uh, wire, you're wasting gas, and you're wasting labor. So they have a welding engineer that's going to calculate just how much of this you need. If you've got a big long weld, maybe it'll warp it. They're going to do this. So it's a very common practice. Looking at this weld symbol, in the tail, you'll see it says staggered intermittent. What does that mean? Well, first let's go over the length of the pitch. So two inch length, so we're gonna go two inch here. That's the length of that well. Now the pitch, like I said, is gonna be center to center, so it's gonna be over here, two inch, in between that, and in between that. That's how it's measured. One thing you'll notice at the end of this, it doesn't quite make it, right? So. Do you leave that open? You never leave the end of it open. It's a stress riser. So you're going to want to at least put like a, I don't know, a quarter inch well right here to make sure that that doesn't have a stress riser at the end. So never leave the end open when you're doing a, um, you know, a staggered well like this. 
Um, back over here, staggered intermittent, what does that mean? Well, this is arrow side, so we just did this arrow side. So now you're going to the other side. I need a different color marker we got here. I don't know, this is hardcore teal, I guess. If I use blue, you probably won't be able to tell the difference. But the intermittent, what that means is when you go to the other side, you're going to put your welds in here, in between the welds on the other side. They do that because they want you to have weld in between. It makes sense. If you put it in between um, the welds on the one side, you basically have a weld going the whole way. Um, they don't always call it out like that, but they can call it out like that. So that's just a uh, general description of what's going on with length and pitch. And again, don't leave your ends open on the other side either. You want to make sure there's always something on the very end of the joint. So what we'll do now is I'll uh, drop a bunch of uh, welding symbols. We'll just identify which uh, the, the information you can get from each welding symbol. We got four symbols here. I label them one, two, three, four. Nothing too intricate. Um, let's identify everything that's on every one of these symbols. So the first one we got here, right here, number one, it's a single V, so that's going to be your edge prep. Very common uh, edge prep for doing uh, full penetration groove welds. So we got a single V here, um, it's arrow side, so it's going to be on the side that the arrow's pointing to. It's going to be in the field, because it's got a field weld symbol, and it's going to be half an inch. That's how the depth of the groove needs to be. Um, did I say flush finish? I can't remember if I did, but that's flush finish symbol. And then here in the tail it says SMAW. So you're going to stick weld a uh, half inch thick plate with a single V with a flush finish in the field. That's everything that you can get off of that welding symbol. Alright, so number two, we're going to come down here. This is a fill weld symbol. It's on the other side, so it's going to be on the opposite side of where the arrow is pointing. Uh, this means weld all around, so you're going to weld it all the way around, so it would be a fillet weld on pipe probably, because you're going to weld all the way around. And then right here, you see 3 eighths of an inch, that means it's a 3 eighths leg size on the fillet weld. All right. Uh, next, number three over here, I try to draw, I'm pretty bad at drawing, but uh, that's a single J. So that's a J uh, edge prep. Uh, you see this little symbol up here? That's a convex finish. So you got a single J with a convex finish. Then you look in the uh, tail and it says back weld. What, what that means is that you're going to go, after you're done filling in this groove, you're going to flip it over, whatever you're doing, and you're going to weld the uh, root on the back. Um, last but not least, number four down here, uh, this symbol right here is number of spot or projection welds. So it's a, a resistance process, and you're going to do 25 spot or projection welds. And if you look at the arrow, it's got a little bit of a turn in it right here. They can do that. Don't get confused. It's the same thing. It's still arrow side, other side. It's usually because there's something that they can't get to on the print, so they, they put a little uh, you know angle in there to get to pointing to the right spot. So don't get confused by that. Uh, they can do that. Uh, but that's 25 spider projection welds. That's a pretty simple one actually. But um, that's everything um, we have for the four here. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Um, the main thing to remember with welding symbols, if you're Going on the field, you're going to be looking at prints. You know, a lot of people can't understand prints. Make sure you understand the welding symbols. When you're going over this, if you're going to school, make sure you're paying attention to the welding symbols portion of your education because it's one of the things that can make you look the most foolish when you go out for print reading. So that's all we got for this week. Thanks for watching, subscribing to TV Weld. We'll see you next week.